Good morning everyone, welcome back to our class. Today, I will be discussing Constructing Simple Electrical Gadgets TLE6 Industrial Arts. The objectives of this video lesson is Identify the tools and materials needed and making simple electrical gadgets. Identify simple electrical gadgets and their uses and observe safety and health practices in making simple gadgets. Let us begin. Tools and materials needed and making simple electrical gadgets. Don't forget that tools and other materials are very important for making, troubleshooting, and repairing electrical gadgets. The following are some of the basic tools and materials used in making, troubleshooting, and repairing simple electrical gadgets. The first one is the multi-tester. A multimeter or a multi-tester also known as a volt-ohm meter or VOM is an electronic measuring instrument that combines several measurement functions and one unit. A typical multimeter may include features such as the ability to measure voltage, current, and resistance. It is an instrument used to test if the gadget is functioning or if there is a flow of electricity in the connection made. The next tool is pliers. There are several other different kinds of pliers, namely long nose, side cutting plier, and combination plier. This is an electrical hand tool used to hold, bend, twist or splice, and cut objects and electrical wires. Screwdrivers We have flathead screwdrivers and Phillips screwdrivers. It is used to drive in or remove screws that fasten electrical wires and other electrical accessories. Wire Stripper Wire Stripper, it is used to remove the insulation from a wire, usually to enable the wire to be spliced or connected to gadgets or other electrical devices. Hammer Ball pin hammer and claw hammer A hammer is a tool, most often a hand tool, consisting of a weighted head fixed to a long-handled that is swung to deliver an impact to a small area of an object. This can be, for example, to drive nails into wood, to shape metal, or to crush rock. Drill We have electric drill and hand drill. It is used to drill holes in hard materials. Soldering tools, which is soldering gun and soldering iron. It is used to make splices and tap connections of wires. Cables and wires. These are the common materials needed in making electrical connections for the current to flow. A wire is a single conductor which materials most commonly being copper or aluminum, while cable is two or more insulated wires wrapped in one jacket. Electrical Tape It is a special tape made of vinyl that is used to wrap electrical wires. It is used to protect electrical wiring for insulation. 
mail plug. It is an electrical device with two or three pins that is inserted in a socket to make an electrical connection. Hacksaw A hacksaw is a hand-powered small tooth saw used for cutting metal pipes, rods, brackets. Hacksaw can also cut through plastic. The hacksaw has a U-shaped frame and a handle at one end. Hacksaws have small pins at each end of the frame that receive a blade. Simple electrical gadgets and their uses. Anyone who is interested to construct simple electrical devices may find it challenging and worth the effort and experience. Reading about electricity and electrical gadgets and books and internet may help you to construct simple electrical gadgets. Learning the skills is beneficial as it prepares you to explore, discover, make things, and globally competitive. Below are some examples of simple electrical gadgets you may find interesting and easy to construct with their uses. Let's find out what icon it represents. This is extension cord. Extension cord is an electrical gadget that is longer than an ordinary cord. It has a mail plug at one end and a receptacle at the other. It is used to accommodate extra electrical devices needing electricity supply. Extension cord is the best remedy to address the insufficiency of available outlets. Extension cord is used if you want to operate different electrical gadgets at the same time. Lampshade. Lampshades are protective or ornamental coverings used to screen a light bulb and can serve as a decoration in a room. It is a type of fixture that covers light bulb to diffuse emitted light. This is usually placed in the living room or bedroom. Doorbell. It is a device usually placed at the door that gives off a reverberating sound when turned on. It is used to call the attention of the person inside the house that someone is at the door. Protocols in making simple electrical gadgets. It is important to us whether at home or in school, safety and health practices should always be observed at all times to avoid hazards and accidents among students or any member of household. Remember, the tools and materials in making simple gadgets must be identified to understand their functions better. Make sure the tools and equipment are clean properly maintained and stored in a safe place. Making electrical gadgets can be done safely and healthy if the following steps are done correctly. Use proper tools and equipment for the task at hand and according to the instructions given. A hazard can cause harm by improper use of tools. 2. Make sure that the gadgets you are repairing is unplugged or has no power. Number three, inspect tools for defects or damages before using them. Use only tools and equipment that are in good condition. Number four, read the instruction manual before using a power tool. Five, Use personal protective equipment such as safety goggles, shoes, helmet, gloves, and belts. 6. Wear proper clothing for the task. Do not wear loose clothing, ties, and long necklace or bracelets that can get caught in moving parts. 
7. Make sure to work in a well-lighted area. 8. Keep surrounding work areas clean and free from debris. 9. Never run fingers along the raw edge or along the sharp edge of the tool or material to check for sharpness. And number 10, report broken bulbs or dangling electrical wiring immediately to the authority. To check how far you have learned from this video lesson, let's try answering this evaluation. For letter A, identify what is being asked on the following items. To give you more time or enough time to do it, you can pause the video. For letter B, read each of the following questions carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. Letter C, true or false. Write true if the statement is correct and false if the statement is incorrect. Hope you learned something from this video lesson. Good day and see you on our next video tutorial.